Hello everyone, this is Brain Warped. I'm bringing you a thing here, uh, showing you a Cho'Gath build that pretty much really works. It was me about 70% of the games. And I always, yeah. Well, this is my tanky AP Cho'Gath. Now, build him. He's pretty OP, actually. To build him, you start off with Doran's ring. And then you, the first ability you get is Rupture. Use your Rupture on your enemy. As many times as, you, as you're able to land, you must land every single one if you're able to. That'll give you an advantage. But this will also cause their teammate, Jungler, to probably gank you. This is for some reason. Yeah. If that happens, I recommend the spells ghost so you can move out of there quickly and also have exhaust with you if needed when they're around the turret if they're going to try to turret dive to get first blood use it on them and they will practically die and you should also land another rupture so that they're at full damage um, and then get them Russian Mercury's treads you must do this or if you're not fighting an AP champion up top, you can go for other boots, but Mercury Treads are good because it has tenacity. Next, usually this build feeds me quickly and gets me the needlessly large rod to build the Radabin's death cap. But if you do not get enough money, I would guess saying a blasting rod or something else. Pretty get fed early during with this kind of build. It's just that you have to land your rupture every single time. This is key to Jogaf's AP feed. If your enemy's about three bars, then you can use a feast on him to quickly kill him quickly. And yeah. But if there's a jungler there, you might be able to overpower both of them. But depending on your enemy on the lane enemy's health and the jungler's health, you have to calculate your practically your uh, if you're gonna win or lose. It's so either fight or flight. You say if the enemy the lane enemy is like three bars low, or if the jungler bar, jungler health bars three bars low, then you just feast them quickly before they use anything that would probably heal themselves, which they probably will use. And then Practically max out your rupture. Try to max out as well as maxing your vocal spike second. And make sure you get these whenever it's en enabled. Also, when there's the choice of either feral scream and vocal spikes in the option in the ability things, get rupture. You will use it with a combination of your rupture. Feral scream will silence your enemy just in and rupture will do practically uh, you know, knock him up and slow him enough, and then you can just pound him down. Now, once you get your rabbit nose cap, you can get a really crystal scepter. The thing about the scepter is that it also works with Cho'Gath's purple spikes, so enemies will not be able to run away as much easily. Then get a void staff to do more damage with your feast and split stuff yeah then guardian angel so you don't lose your stacks if it when as long as you don't have this guardian angel then do not try to go in as a superhero this this build does not mean he can solo five guys unless they're pretty terrible guys and then last you will sell the door and ring for uh let's see what was it abyssal scepter that's what it was yeah and here will be the masteries that I use for choke out. Yes, I got this, that, this. I got these to keep him survivable and this to keep him, his mana thing balanced. Balancing regen and mana regen. So that he can still stay in top lane for quite a while. Increasing damage to turrets will be nice because they will never expect a choke out to actually take down a turret by so quick enough. Spell sword to do more damage in case you know, stuff. 
And then there's the executioner, so you can hunt down your enemies quickly. And yeah, this is the Cho'Gath build I use. It's pretty, very powerful. As long as you use Cho'Gath correctly, land your ruptures, use your fail scream when needed, and back like feasting, smartly feasting on certain enemies. When in team fights, use your rupture and make sure you keep your distance till a teammate starts their initiation on the enemy. Then you can ru run in, just scream and stuff, you know. Make sure you have exhaust and put it on an enemy if they do too much damage. Ghost if you need a quick getaway. If it's an enemy of global ult like the Lux, then I would probably suggest, uh, well, rushing the magic resist items that I was talking about first. You know, for your heads, Guardian Angel and the Abyssal Scepter. But whatever. Yeah, this is the Joe that I use. And I hope you like this video. And I hope it helps you win games a lot with Joe Gaff. I love Joe Gaff, he is awesome. And yeah, that's all I'd say. Goodbye. Have a nice game.